So, many people ask me how I found all of these connections around the world and what would be the tips to explore this beautiful planet while doing what you love the most. So, while I'm moving from my old house, I will share some tips and tricks of how to travel with your art and what would be the biggest advice if you only start now. It's been many years since I started my journey of art and creativity. The most crazy video starts in three, two, one. Head away, head away, head away. I do explore this planet while leaving my artworks in every country that I visit. Do you smell that? What do I New wall. New wall? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> We're in trouble. <laughs> I learned a lot while traveling and while working with different people, while reaching them out. I did many mistakes and I wish somebody would have told me this before. But I guess mistakes can also teach you how to improve your services or how to improve your communication, how to, in general, network in this world full of opportunities. Because there are many opportunities, it's just that we need to take them. And because of self-criticizing, discouragement, because of the society, we start believing that we are not worthy of all these beautiful things. But we truly are. So my first and foremost advice is to ask for help. Reach out to people. So in Lithuania, we have this phrase that basically saying that nothing will happen and nobody hit your head <laughs> if you will ask. It's always better to ask than not to do that and then wonder what would your life would look like if you would have asked them. If I would go back eight years ago... When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. When I only started my journey of traveling and making art around the world, many times I just start laughing or just seeing what mistakes I did and it's kind of embarrassing. I'm not trying to say that you need to grow to specific level to reach out people, but you know, you need to have guts and confidence to reach out someone without any portfolio or without any experience and let them trust you. If you are an artist and you really desire to start traveling this world, you need to have a good portfolio. If you don't have yet, start where you are right now so you can have at least a few the best artworks of yours to showcase places that you want to work with. I asked owners of the villas that I was staying or the hotel managers what was the reason they replied to my email. They named many different reasons. Some they was really triggered about my story and about my mission. Some were already in research for the project I'm offering and then I contacted them on a basically right time and some of them mentioned very strongly something about portfolio. You can create a PDF file and attach this with your email or you can add a few pictures with the link to your portfolio. But let me come back to the point. I was talking about people, I was talking about connections. I love people. So don't ever underestimate people and what they can do for you or how they can help you. Sometimes people who are low key brought me the most success, the greatest advices, the most connections, the most network. Maybe that is your neighbor. Maybe there is someone that you're talking daily in the shop. But if you never really acknowledge people of your dreams and what you would like to do or what you really desire to do or what your plan is, you will never know. Maybe somebody actually needs you right here, right now. Sometimes we simply forget how one single person can transform your life. In the end of the day, we are all humans just serving our mission, so we must help each other. 
One of my most favorite affirmations I repeat myself daily is Everywhere I go, I'm surrounded by love, light, and positivity. When I started, I actually didn't know that you can trade your art in exchange of accommodation. I also didn't know many things about traveling in general. He's coming! Oh my god! Oh my god! I haven't seen such a neck in my life. Bro, I'm, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. So one of my friends that I met in Bali and who really became my soul sister, she made me realize that everything is possible and I already got everything I need. That was the moment when I started trading my artworks and that was like first time in Bali Island and I found a lot of people who wanted to trade the, uh, the artworks in exchange of accommodation or in exchange of food. It looks funny but that's how I started and that was actually the best memories of my life and I still trade my artworks sometimes when I come in countries where I have never been before and I don't know anybody. It can turn to amazing beautiful experience that adds spice to your life and basically this is a great opportunity for you to really embrace what you do and really appreciate how much you love it. I definitely 100% recommend to trade your artworks if you have never been to other countries. I definitely advise you to reach out these places, don't be shy, and see where it can lead you. One more advice from me would be to use all the possible tools you can. We live in the social media world and honestly, I must say it's pretty easy to find connections. Use all the medias you have. If it's a Facebook group, emailing people, maybe reaching out to specific places and people on Instagram or TikTok. Basically, all of these platforms is your tool to be known for what you desire to do or what you're already doing right you never know who's observing you on social media I get a lot of people who text me out of the blue and they say that they've been following me for a few years and now they finally decide to have a war mural and it's actually very beautiful because as I said you never know who's observing you on social media so be active and show your artworks don't afraid to show off whatever skills you do I'm sure that this can attract a lot of great contacts and people who will support on your journey. I don't think you need to wait for the right moment. Your first step does not need to be giant. Even if it's a trip outside your city or outside your town, then when you're finally ready to explore this beautiful planet, you can start your trips maybe around your continent. Maybe you want to find some volunteering program that would also help you to start and get out of your comfort zone. When I started, I wanted to go far away. <laughs> <laughs> so I did everything just to escape Lithuania. For me it always seemed like I cannot find my corner over there. And I'm glad that I went out because that also made me realize specific things about my country that I really admire. So sometimes we need to go very far away to finally find ourselves and sometimes you need to go away from home to understand what home is for you. I encourage you to finally get out of your comfort zone and finally start believing that your talent is needed in this world and that you're extremely ready to start whatever you have in mind. The world is so big but the world is also so small. Whatever world you carry in your palms, make sure to know that the world needs you. The world needs your creativity, the world needs your colors, the world needs your energy, the world needs you. We are all made here on this planet for a purpose. So if you haven't found yet your purpose, I encourage you to try new things, experiment, explore, and basically not afraid to live. That would be my main tips of how to start your journey as a traveling artist. <laughs>